be an alpha netizen. That foreigner always tries to chat her, has always have an update about what she's doing every time. And once she would not, there are also Filipinas wants to hang with you because they want a free meal. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme, Esme Vlogs. So today's video, be an alpha netizen. Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So maybe you're wondering why is this topic so interesting? Yes. So one of our subscribers made a comment about this specific topic. Yeah, so we have to talk about this because this is an eye-opener or this is to enlighten you guys what you're gonna do. And again, we're here to discuss what are those things that you need to remember. Yes, so his comment goes like this from Michael Kessler. I know it's hard to satisfy a Filipina financially speaking, largely because it's not just her, it's her entire family. So also our subscribers made a comment or react to that comment. So from Kokalti, not your responsibility, don't be a fool. Next is PH Travels, I think you have it all wrong. So easy to satisfy financially. Just be smart about it. Next is the big man. As a man, you need to know to put your foot down. Be an alpha, not a simp. And especially in the Philippines, every dirt cheap compared to the states. And Wayne also said that don't show everything. So they have points and also the main comment also has a thought. Yes, agree. That makes sense. Especially when you are dating a poor or average Filipina, then she has a huge problem in terms of financial, especially uh, back to her family. Yes, that's true. And if they have good relationship with the family, of course, the Filipina would really help her family, her true. parents, her um, siblings. So main point there he has actually a point he has a point there but you are the alpha to your decision you have the full control of everything so it's up to you but there are really people that has a good soul a good heart true we can blame you for being like that so it's just that all you need to do is to be wise in every decision you have to make especially in terms of money. You can support your Filipina, but not her family. Yes. You can support in case of emergency. Yes. So if there is a very important decision to make, it's up to you. So if you want to help her by emergencies only, that's your decision. So it's your hard work. It's your money. You have the full access to it. So it's up to you if you want to say yes or no. Yes, that's true. Once again, this is an eye opener for everyone. Not just uh, you guys, but also us, right? This is applicable to everyone. Yes, but if your scenario is or your situation is your Filipina emotionally trying to trap you, that's also a different scenario. Yeah, that's not a good sign. That's a bad sign. Yes, because she's just really trying to get your money. She's not after your love or she's not even serious with your relationship if she would try to play with your emotions. Exactly. So there are three things that we need to talk about this subject. And this is really important. Yes, because we're talking about your dignity. Yeah. Yes, because you're the head of everything you're the alpha without you they cannot be in that situation because of you true so number one is being needy yes so one of the examples of being needy is we have 
our neighbor before that is having a relationship with a foreigner. So that foreigner always tries to chat her, has always have an update about what she's doing every time. And once she would not pick up the call, he would directly argue with her. Yeah, or conclude that she's like cheating yes, on him. Because his reason was, why are you picking up, picking up the phone? You're just inside the house. What are you doing? It's like that. So that's his reason. Filipinas would always try to do something inside the house. They clean, they do the laundry, everything is by hand. So to the point that even Ate would go to the bathroom, she needs to use her phone and put her phone there. <laughs> inside the bathroom? Yes, even doing the laundry. Washing the laundry, she needs to put the phone there beside her because her boyfriend needs to see her what she's doing. Yeah, this is one of the best example of um, a simp person or a guy. Yes. This is the needy guy that he needs attention coming from his Filipina. Yes, and I would say that's just too possessive. You are not putting or you're not giving freedom to your Filipina, which is a very toxic trait in yes. a relationship so don't be like that you have to give her freedom not being a sim yes and the next one is just because she hangs out with you doesn't mean to say she likes you yeah that's one thing or uh, a problem also because there are some people or foreigner that if a filipina hangs out with you even a single text or message and then the filipina would come to you you misunderstood that this Filipina, she likes me or she wants to be my girlfriend. Yeah, so some foreigners would think it wrong. So they mistakenly think that the Filipina has a crush on them or she's feeling romance coming from him because she's always around you. It doesn't mean to, to say that she already likes you. You can definitely, def <laughs> there are reasons behind that. There are also Filipinas wants to hang with you because they want a free meal. Free meal. <laughs> yeah, or... A free vacation. A free vacation, <laughs> a free travel. Like things that they can get from you. So there are Filipinas like that. They want it to be free because they know you have the money. Yeah. So there are foreigners that they think that, oh, she likes me already. <laughs> So don't so, don't think that way. Yeah, you have to think it twice if this Filipina likes you or not. <laughs> <laughs> if it's authentic, yes. True. <laughs> Next is financially toying with you. So once a Filipina knows that you like her, they know how to use their charisma. Yes. They know how to toy you around or play with you. Yeah. So all she needs to do is to call you or she will engage to you because she needs something yes. she needs money she would just communicate with you if she wants something from you so there are like that that even for us we experience that yeah especially for me guys like my parents would just communicate with me if they want money so not just friends, but also family. That's a common experience or you might experience when you are in the Philippines. Yeah, so you need to have a sharp eye for that. Most of you guys, especially for those people that has a kind soul, most of you are a good prey for those types of Filipina. And um, like what we discussed on our live, you'll be tested in the Philippines. Yes. That's a situation that you might encounter that's true and absolutely you would definitely experience that maybe you cannot say it's right now that you come here it's your first time coming here and you really experience a good experience in the Philippines in your first travel but who knows yeah so we are just here to advise you to be keen on those types of people that would try to use you yeah, so wait for the exact time 
work, save money, time will come, a Filipino or the right person will come to you. That's true. And if you are those types of people that really wants to help, there is a saying, give a man a fish and you will feed him one day. But teach a man to fish and you would feed him for a lifetime. Yeah, I believe and agree with that. Yes, so it's better for you to really know what to do and how to help him and that help can be for a lifetime rather just to give something and it's just for one day yeah all you need to do is just be wise that's it yes and when it comes to those people that has pure intention thank you so much for helping other people that are in need yes we do appreciate it and uh, we pray and hope that god will bless you more and more yes yeah, so thank you so much guys for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog no hate just love bye, bye.